Now for the last couple of months, Bitcoin skyrocketed to the moon, so there's probably not a better point in time to make a video like this. For the next seven days, I'm going to day trade with $1,000 worth of Bitcoin. I've never done this before, so we could either be extremely lucky and make a lot of money or the opposite happens and we lose a lot of money. Now for the tiny little portion of you that absolutely has no idea what Bitcoin is, it's a cryptocurrency that gets mined using electricity and computers who are solving mathematical problems. Sounds complicated and it is, I can tell you, but in the end, it's just an asset like stocks that you and I can trade. So let's start this challenge and set the timer. Now, one thing about Bitcoin, as you can see here, is that it is very volatile. So it's extremely hard to predict how the price is gonna be at a certain point of time. Now, of course, certain events can lead to an increased demand. For example, recently, PayPal introduced Bitcoin on their platform, which is a great buying signal. So ideally, you would have bought before that and then sold after that, or just kept on holding. But for day trading, you know, it's kind of different because as the name says, it's day by day, it's day trading. So you mostly rely on other metrics, if any. Now, I personally believe that most of the stuff you will find out there is not getting you anywhere. Because if there is someone who is able to predict the Bitcoin price or certain stock prices, they most likely wouldn't tell you because, well, it makes them rich. Even in the stock market, only a tiny fraction of people are able to outperform it because they have either a sixth sense, they have a lot of knowledge about companies and experience or information that you and I don't have or they just got lucky. But anyway, the first strategy that I'm going to try, I found that on a different YouTuber's video about day trading Bitcoin and it's called Stochastic RSI, which you can activate here on TradingView. Sounds complicated, I know, and it probably is, but in the end, the strategy just says that you should buy when both lines are below the purple area, which means Bitcoin is being undersold, and then you should sell when both of the lines are above the purple area, which means Bitcoin is being oversold. Now, as of right now, we are below, so that should be a good time to buy Bitcoin, which I'm gonna do on Kraken, which is an exchange. Now, I'm using Kraken because of the low fees, and they also have a very user-friendly app, but of course, you can also use, well, Robinhood, for example. I'm gonna link both of them in the description for you. So right now, Bitcoin is at around $26,600 and I have $1,006.43 on my balance here, which is gonna give us around 0.037 Bitcoin. Now here it says that the price is $27,000 as we progress in the buying process. And the reason for that is that this app here automatically matches us with someone who wants to sell Bitcoin. And that, of course, is very fast and simple, but it usually gives you a worse price. But for the sake of this challenge, for now, I'm just gonna keep it simple and we're just gonna swipe up. Okay, nice. We just bought our first piece of Bitcoin, so we can start this challenge. Now, in the end, I also want to compare my results of day trading to what would have happened if I would just buy and hold for the seven days. And therefore, I'm just gonna note the price of the first trade here in Blockfolio, so in the end we can see if we beat the market or not. Well, but for now it just seems that, well, Bitcoin just dropped and our portfolio is now only worth $994. That seems to be a good start for the first day. So for now the best thing we can do is see if the price goes up, the strategy actually works, and we can sell Bitcoin with a profit. Day number two, guys. Take a guess what happened. Since yesterday, the price just went up to $28,300, which is an all-time high. Bitcoin has never been at this limit before. So get the drinks out. And of course, our portfolio also went up to $1,057. And if we take a look at TradingView, the lines are not completely out of the purple area yet, but honestly, I'm just gonna play it safe here. I'm gonna take the profit now because it's an all-time high and an all-time high, of course, is a huge buying signal usually, but also a big selling signal for long-time investors. So let's play it safe here and sell this. So I just sold and again, I got matched with a price way worse than what we could have gotten. That leaves us with $1,040. The next order I'm gonna do is gonna be a limit order, which allows you to pick a specific price and only if this price is met, 
the order is going to be executed. You don't leave anything up to the exchange anymore. But still a good profit for our first trade. So see you tomorrow or whenever the price drops. So for my next trade, I'm still waiting for Bitcoin to significantly drop. But as it seems, Bitcoin doesn't seem to care. Instead, it just topped itself from yesterday and jumped to another all time high of around $29,200, which is crazy and definitely doesn't feel like the right time to buy in again. So yeah, I think we can just keep on waiting. No trades for today, but whenever the price drops. So take a guess, guys, what happened tonight? No, Bitcoin didn't drop. Instead, it jumped to another all time high of 29,500 and is still floating around that area. And you know what they say, buy low, sell high, not the opposite. So it still is like a bad position for me to go in. But honestly, for the sake of this challenge, I think I'm gonna do it as soon as the price drops just a tiny little bit. So wish me luck. Okay guys, it happened. Bitcoin just dropped to $29,000 and I was just about to make a limit order, but I had a typo and for some reason the order couldn't execute. Now I placed another limit order for $29,060. So Bitcoin has to drop for around 0.22%, which is the number that you see here, which amounts to around $65. And once that happens, our limit order for $29,060 hopefully closes and we're back in the game. And the order was just closed, but our portfolio right now is only worth $1,038 because the price just dropped and of course, tiny little fees. But I'm learning along the way and that's what counts. I expected things like this. So now I'm gonna place a limit sell order for the Bitcoin we just bought for a new price at around $29,650 which means that once the price hits that target, it's gonna automatically sell our Bitcoin. So even if I go to sleep right now and the price hits that target, we're gonna sell and make profit. Good morning, guys. So what happened tonight? Well, our limit order kicked around here at 650 and we sold, which definitely was a good deal. But since then, of course, Bitcoin has been going up and up and up. What else? How am I supposed to win a day trading challenge and beat the market when the market constantly goes up? But still, we're at $1,058 and when the next dip comes, we're gonna buy. <sighs> Honestly guys, Bitcoin just jumped to $32,400 and it peaked at around $32,700. If I would have just kept my initial investment and let it sit there, we would be at around $1,200. Okay guys, Bitcoin just dropped again and I just placed a limit order for $31,000. Yes, $31,000. If you would have told me that a couple of days ago that I'm gonna pay this much or buy it at this price point, I would have told you, I don't believe you. But anyway, here I am. So let's see how this turns out and good night. Hello? Yes, did the price drop to 31,000 and my order was fulfilled? No? No, the price, the price jumped to 34,500 and my order, okay, I can cancel my order because obviously the price will not drop by $3,450 while we are on this challenge. Guys, you heard it. The price just, just jumped to $34,500. Any comments? Please, please put them in the comments now. Now, the only way I can see myself winning this challenge is shorting Bitcoin. So what means shorting? Shorting means basically betting on a drop of Bitcoin. So betting against Bitcoin. So that sounds on the one hand extremely stupid, but on the other hand, it's my only option to win this challenge because how can I beat the market if it just goes up? I, I can't, it's impossible. Now I don't want to make it too complicated for you guys. And honestly, I don't have that much of a plan myself but essentially I just bought around 2000 contracts at a Bitcoin price of around $33,300. Now what we can see here is the entry price and the mark price. And if the mark price is lower than the entry price, that means I'm making profit. And of course, the lower it gets, the higher my profit will be. But of course, also the opposite. If the mark price is higher than my entry price, then I'm losing money. And we have also something here called the liquidity price of Bitcoin hits the target of around $65,000, then I'm gonna lose all of my money.
You can also see a profit or loss in real time in your wallet as well as an estimate of what you would get out of it. Definitely feeling like Wolf of Wall Street right now. Be very careful if you do something like this. This is absolutely not investment advice. I'm not a professional investor or something like that. So do your homework if you want to try this. Day number seven, guys. Take a guess. Do these boss over there mean something good or something bad? Well, quite obviously something bad, <laughs> but not for me, for Bitcoin. Bitcoin actually crashed to around $28,500. And that of course means profit for me guys and a loss for Bitcoin. And I know this stuff is complicated guys, but a green 700%, I don't think that ever misses. And if we take a look at the estimate, it is around $1,200. So just this tiny little trade brought us around $150 in profit which is amazing. But how does that compare to the market? Well, if we wouldn't have traded at all, we would be at around $1,059 right now. So that means I won this challenge, guys. I gotta sell this quickly because you know it's quite fluctuating. Or oh, I can just keep it and then hopefully it drops more. Okay guys, now I'm getting greedy. I think I'm gonna sell this now and I'll see you guys in the next video.